Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to go through the uh, new uh, announced uh, ROG Rapture GTB 19000 AI tri-band Wi-Fi 7 AI gaming router. What a mouthful. Uh, so basically this is their new router that they have um, and basically you can see it is based on the current design uh, architecture that they have with uh, multiple antennas so it's not going to be a small router by any means but when you're probably going to be paying full price um, in the UK, some of these could go for like £800. Uh, so, you know, even, well, between six and £800. So that's a lot of money. So uh, I wouldn't expect it to be small by any means. And I do want to be a uh, centerpiece if I'm going to put it somewhere and not just hide it away. Uh, so as we can see here, it is actually uh, just been announced, this uh, router. Uh, so as we said, it's Wi-Fi 7 and it's the first uh, in the world to have, uh, as a gaming router, to have an MPU. Uh, so this is uh, basically a uh, neural processing unit and this is a dedicated AI chip basically within the actual architecture of the router and this hosts all the intelligent features that we'll explore in just a moment. But you can see here as we said it's got the CPU so that's a quad core 2.6 gigahertz CPU and that's combined with 4 gigabytes of DDR RAM and 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage. So that ensures this router uh, can handle the most demanding network tasks with ease. Um, and as we said, it's got the built-in MPU and also an MCU. So this is a microcontroller unit. Um, this is like basically a trifecta works in perfect harmony together. Uh, so dramatically boosting the local processing power and also the energy efficiency. So it also hopefully will keep a bit more of it. if it's got its own MPU, It'll get more user privacy as well, so all the AI functions will hopefully be on device. It won't have to go to the cloud or anything like that. So I think that's really good in these uh, points of time now that everything seems to be going to the cloud or to a third party company. So as we said here that this is the uh, AI router. So, uh, so of course it's going to have all these different features uh, built into it. Um, so it brings basically four game changing AI initiatives into the table. And that's along with the CPU, the MPU and the MCU. Um, so as we can see, as we're going through, you can see, as we said, the design is still roughly the same. And uh, what is going through here is basically saying that with the CPU and the MCU, so in, in com combination, so this is basically using, they call it AI power saving. So thanks to the big, small power saving architecture, uh, this is the kind of... Uh, routine that they use uh, uh, architecture to actually uh, reduce power and things like that. This router can reduce your energy consumption, it says up to 46%, um, so that's massive. So what it does is when a device is inactive, the MCU uh, will take over during ideal periods and ensure efficiency without compromising your performance as well. So you can see here the CPU basically hands over the processing um, anything that the packets to the MCU. So that's a really clever thing that they're doing there um, to also save power as we know electricity and everything else is so expensive now. Next we're moving on to the actual, uh, as you could see here, this is a basically they're talking about what's built into the gaming routers for Asus already is their GPNs as you've probably seen in previous videos and other Asus routers um, that they have this built in and normally done by a third party. Uh, so what's different about this is now they're saying it supports up to 3,000 game titles um, and also it can improve the ping by 34%. So basically the AI game booster calculates the fastest and optimal route in real time, minimizing the ping and packet loss. So you can see here in their example, I don't know how how world, uh, real world uh, statistics they are, but um, we'll soon come on to that when we if we manage to get one for testing and everything else. Um, so as we said there, we've got there the PC Game Pass there. So it looks like Xbox. So hopefully it starts incorporating more uh, basically games and also more consoles and everything else. So that's good to see. They're still uh, building on their Game Accelerator uh, program that they actually have built into the routers. Next, we've got the basically here, we've got the uh, the quality of service this is their version 2.0 so as you can see here if we just uh, pause that in the, in their promotional video 
You could do like this already within your Asus router. You can go into the quality of service within the app you've got, or you've got it on the GUI when you log into the router. You could choose to say what you prioritize over. So if you're are, uh, gaming mostly um, and you want to prioritize that, you want to make sure people that all the children when they're live streaming or doing their TikTok or YouTube, uh, it's not taking up all the bandwidth and it's more bandwidth is prioritized to gaming. But again, you can do the difference. So if you're home working as well, working from home um, and you want to prioritize uh, the conference calls and things like that, then you can prioritize that over the gaming and of course file downloads or live streaming as well. So it gives you the options here as well. So it's good that they're actually still again, they're adapting and building on all these new features that are built into the a actual uh, router as well as these things are coming like more and more like mini PCs now. Uh, so it's, it's coming crazy amount of power and CPU and memory that these are actually having inside them. So as we know, it's quite good that also with the price of electricity and everything else going up, uh, that the uh, we can actually see that they're actually thinking about power saving as well. So that's good to see. So as we said, that they actually uh, were saying that it is a big saving on there. And also they do have advanced security and privacy. So as we know, they already have their, uh, basically they call it AI protection um, built in. Uh, but this is the advanced security and privacy they've got there now. So with it built in intelligence, so they've got ad and tracker blockers as well. So uh, your personal data remains local and secure. Uh, this not only enhances your privacy, but also contributes to a faster browsing experience by eliminating unwanted content. So basically the ads, because sometimes they've ads, all the preloading videos is a bit of a pain. Um, so at least you won't have to install plugins on each computer or your mobile phones and tablets. You'll have that automatically. Anything that goes through the router will be blocked as well. So it's good to see that they're actually including that. So as you can see here, where they, they're actually going on to more uh, information so you'll be able to use the app here um, and it'll basically help you prioritize what you're doing through your uh, work and everything else in the router more uh, coming on to now is the basically is the network scanner i think this is the, probably one of the most interesting uh, features as uh, we can see here on the new dashboard you can see where it's actually showing you events wi-fi interference so they ha do actually have these uh, kind of features already built into the web interface for your Asus router. But you can see here they've stepped it up and it's really like a Wi-Fi analysis uh, app that you can probably buy or download for your uh, mobile um, that I used previously in other videos. So you can see this actually built in now and you can actually see the much more detail. But what's really interesting is you can see here from their demo they do have covering all the network uh, bands from 2.4, 5 and 6. But also you can see here non-Wi-Fi interferers. So you can see here they've got Bluetooth devices, microwave oven, wireless game controllers um, and so on. So you can see here uh, where the actual devices are interfering and perhaps uh, you can change your network. And also it will do it in, uh, intelligently. So it's stepping up now using the AI. So is, this is not just basically uh, all talk and it's fancy and doesn't actually do anything. This AI actually does look like they've actually thought about it and really uh, actually using that uh, neural processing unit that's actually built in. So that's really good that actually building this in now and giving the user more detail because as we all know that, you know, living in more and more places and things like that, it's going to interfere with your gaming, especially if you are gaming more professional than I am, a bit rubbish, but you know, the ping and everything else matters to you more, then it's good to see that. So as we finally come to the kind of summarize it, you can see that as we said, it is Wi-Fi 7, it's tri-band, um, it does have 31 gig of uh, wide capacity in there. So that's the kind of, uh, uh, kind of switch power they've got in there. So the ethernet switches and everything else. So it's got plenty of uh, bandwidth for, I think, for many, many, many years to come. And it also has 10 gig gaming ports like we've seen on the uh, other Wi-Fi 7 routers uh, that are actually uh, already for sale. It includes a network, uh, Guest Network Pro. So we've done videos on that as well, uh, if you want more details around that. So that that's a, a good add-on they've added to that. So you can see the ROG AI Game Booster. So they're saying again around 34% lower latency. 
covers over 3,000 games and they have the adaptive quality of service at QoS. Um, and then also for security, it has RF scan, is a tracker blocker and then ad blocker as well. So it'll do that all on the router as we said, so that's really cool. And as we said, it's the first actual uh, router, gaming router to have an MPU built into it. And uh, we're from the features we've seen so far, um, until I actually get to test it, but it looks like they actually are really uh, using the actual processing power of that, so that's good. And as we said, it's a quad core CPU in there with plenty of RAM and the EMCC flash storage there. And then also, they're using what's really interesting, I think, is using the MCU to uh, basically handle all the ideal uh, idle, uh, devices that are on there. So, as you can see, it saves up to 46% energy reduction. So Again, it, we will see on how it depends on if you do have to, your device has to be Wi-Fi 7 or will it be Wi-Fi 6 and uh, above, um, including Wi-Fi 6C. And again, it's got the good uh, ROG, uh, uh, basically the RGB lighting that's on the top as well. Um, and then it's got that kind of see-through uh, top on there as well. So it's good like the Wi-Fi 7 routers. And as we said, it's a fair chunk. And again, these are not going to be cheap by any means. But so I would want it quite big as well as a centerpiece in my living room <laughs> if I'm paying six to eight hundred pounds for a router. Um, and enough antennas here, as you can see here, uh, it's got eight antennas, the same layout and the same kind of uh, display with buttons and everything else on there. Hopefully we'll be able to get one in, in and I'll be able to review it and do some setup guides and then do some testing because it would be interesting to see how this uh, AI actually really does perform. Uh, in future, I am going to be start looking. I know a lot of people have asked for more gaming kind of uh, uh, kind of videos, so I will be looking to see using my Asus. Uh, I've got an Ally as well, handheld device, um, and then try and use that and see what these kind of gaming uh, their features that they have in there and how it reduces the ping and also the Wi-Fi uh, in there and as well what speeds and then switching it on and off and we can do the comparison. Okay, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this a little bit useful and interesting on the new technology that's coming out soon. Uh, as we said, it does seem to be quite exciting times on these uh, new uh, routers that are coming out. But as soon as I get more information on this or I get one for testing, um, I will uh, let you know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.